All right, y'all, today we're gonna jump straight into the brand new OpenAI models, the O1 Mini and the O1 Preview. Now, if you're a developer, you're gonna need to be on tier four or tier five to access these. You can also access these inside the ChatGPT app if you are a paid user. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna build a Chrome extension and we're gonna see how both models perform. But here's the kicker. We're not gonna just test to see if it can build a Chrome extension. We're gonna see if it's even efficient for the model to build it because we know these models do take more time uh, to write the code. So we're gonna see if that time allows us to write better code or we're gonna see if it's just a bunch of slop that we get out. And a quick note on the O1 model, it is different than the GPT-4 model. So with the O1 models, they use reasoning, which is internal chain of thought. So we don't get to see these tokens and how they think because they wanna keep that as proprietary information because they don't want us to create synthetic data sets and then go train Llama on it. So that's their way of keeping their competitive edge. So let's take a look at the evals. We can see the massive improvement that O1 Preview has over GPT-4.0. We don't have access to O1 yet, but I assume they're going to release that in the future. I'm guessing it just takes a lot of compute is why we haven't seen it yet. You can see in competition math, the accuracy improves drastically to 56% from 13%, and then O1 gets 83%. Competition code, we're at 11, we're in the 11th percentile, and for O1 preview, it's in the 62nd percentile, and O1 is in the 89th percentile. And the PhD level science questions, this right here, it beats the human expert on just the O1 preview, and O1 preview actually does better than O1. So that's, that's astounding. But benchmarks don't always mean everything. We have to see how the models perform in the real world. As we scroll down, we can see how much better it does in mathematics and science with physics, chemistry, improving the formal logic, improving college mathematics, the LSAT. So you can see the, there are massive improvements from O1 compared to GPT-4.0. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the playground for it. Um, you can use ChatGPT if you want to use it in there if you're a paid user. So the Chrome extension we're going to ask it to create for us is going to be a color picker extension. Um, so that way we can click on any color on the screen and get the color from it. Okay, so what we're going to ask it is to create a color picker Chrome extension, create all the files. It must work out the box. And I should be able to hover and click over any color on the screen and get the color from it like an eyedropper. So we're going to run that. We're going to let it think. And it may take a little bit um, because it's going to generate a bunch of reasoning tokens to figure out what it should come up with. And you can see that there's no settings on here, so we can't play around with the temperature um, or any of the other settings. So we get the response back. And it tells us how to lay out our folder and all the file structure. So we're going to copy all this code and bring it over. Okay, so I took out the icons because I'm not going to add those in here, but everything else I just pasted in. This is all the code that it gave us. Okay, and here's the content script. Here's our CSS, our styling and then the background. So let's add it to Chrome and let's see if it works. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on load unpacked and then you're gonna find the directory that it's in and then you're just gonna click select and you'll see a pop up in there. And if we go over here, you can see it, we'll just pin it and we'll go back over here and we'll see if we can pick a color. So activate. Uh, it doesn't look like it's working. Okay. So we'll give preview a shot to see if it can give us a working Chrome extension right out the gate. Also, the mini used 5,851 tokens. So we're going to ask preview now. And this may take a little bit. So, And in the meantime, we're going to go over to the code editor and write up the GPT-401. Well, this is loading up. Okay, so we're using cursor. Um, we're just gonna paste in the same prompt. We're gonna use GPT-40. Okay, 
okay, this code looks way different than what 01 Mini gave us. I can already tell this probably isn't going to work, but we'll put it in there and we'll test it out. Okay, so we're just going to apply the code to all these. We're going to take out the icons. background and then we'll go to the pop up All right, let's add it in Chrome. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we added the GPT-40 color picker. We'll go back over here. Oops, let me pin it real quick. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's taking over the canvas or anything. Yep, so it's not working for the GPT-40 either. So we'll see if preview works. We'll add that code in, and then we're also going to test on it 3.5 from Anthropic, and we're going to see how well Claude can do. All right, so let's let's scroll through the code. We can see the file structure wants us to create as the manifest, the pop-up, pop-up.js, content, picker.js, and the styles. Okay, so I've added the code in from the O1 preview. So it gave us two different versions of the picker. If the first one doesn't work, we'll test the second one out. Um, so it said to give us content.js, but it didn't give us any code for that either. And I removed the icons from this. And this is the picker.js that it wrote. And the other one just used HTML to Canvas, and it told us we had to download the file and add the JS to the manifest. So let's add this and let's test it out. Okay, now we've loaded in the extension. Let's give it a test. So I guess it's trying to capture the screen and then take the color from there, but doesn't seem to be working. So we'll test out the HTML to Canvas because it did give us that in this response and we'll see if it can create it. And then we're going to test out Claude to see if Claude can do it. Since we know Claude has great coding abilities, we're going to ask it to see if it can create it out the box as well to see if it's on the level of O1 preview. All right, we'll test this. I don't, it might work because it's getting the canvas and all this, but I don't know if it's going to work out the gate without any errors though. All right, so add the Sonnet 3.5 color picker. You can see it has the little like circle around it. But it doesn't seem to track it though. Shows up though when you click, but it's not tracking the color. Okay, so you can see it uses the HTML to Canvas over here. So it told us we need to download HTML to Canvas. So we're going to download this file right here. So you can just copy it. And we need to go over to the manifest. And we need to update this as well. And you can see the file has been added over here. 
Okay, so now we just gotta click refresh. And we can test to see if it works. There we go. All right. Let's make sure that's the color. Yeah, it looks pretty close. So that's probably what it was at that pixel. Yeah, so 01 preview got it to work. It gave us two options and the second option uh, ended up working. The other thing I wanted to point out was 01 preview took 29 seconds to generate the Chrome extension and it only used 3000 tokens. So it used less tokens than 01 mini to solve it and give us a correct answer. All right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll have all the source code in my Patreon below.